Welcome to the second part of my old geezer's diary look back at our EU referendum. The outstanding factor that I'm convinced many people will remember for a long time is just how difficult it was to sort out the facts from the fantasy, the truth from the fake claims and the reality from the both sides' falsehoods. In this context, I believe that all of us, the whole population of the UK, was seriously let down by the mighty BBC, supposed to be our country's most reliable and hopefully unbiased news source. To be honest, I expected the Beeb to actually talk about the facts and to analyse the truth out of the claims, warnings and threats. Yes, I also expected those analyses to be in the prime time news and to give me the solid truth to work with. But it didn't happen. I heard some BBC bigwig on the radio the other day saying that it was all there tucked away on some radio station or other, if you look for it. But I and doubtless millions of my fellow citizens would have loved to have found this information on primetime TV exposed clearly and shown to us properly. But instead, watching the news on BBC, all I really got was reporting of each side's claims and the rebuttal from the other side. That's really all that there was there. It wasn't what I wanted. The actual facts shown up clearly and fearlessly probably wouldn't have made a good news story. Don't get me wrong, I do like referendums. In fact, I think we should have more of them on topics that are important to our country and topics that we can't necessarily trust politicians to decide for us these days. It's just that we, the voting population, deserve to get the truth, the actual facts about what we're voting on. And for that, we need an organisation we can trust to give us those facts rather than uh, joining in some media war to get more circulation, more listeners, more viewers or whatever. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with more of the old geezer's diary tomorrow.